All right, this is lighting test number three, and I think this is the kind of lighting that I'm going to go with for this show. It seems to to work good. Um, the dynamic lighting at the side uh, isn't very bright, so I need to have my keys uh, really um, at, at low levels. And unfortunately, shooting in these light levels means a lot of the uh, automatic adjustments on my camera just don't have enough information to work with. So I'm going to have to uh, do all the camera stuff manually and I'm just going to stick with the one camera because um, uh, trying to get the the video quality of uh, a bunch of uh, uh, different consumer grade cameras matched to this camera is just it's too glaring when when it's not um, the professional camera um, shooting the video but this is the entire cast of the show at least the cast on my end Dr. Velocimaster That's Hero McCanty. But you might know him better as Edgelord. And see, it's, it's, with the lighting, it's very difficult to get that guy in focus. That's Pookums. There's one of the space fairies. Howie. Lewis. And there's our security guard. <laughs> and there's one of the customers there. That was one that was the first alien character I made. And uh there's the other space fairy. And that's the cast, cast of the show. Let's see how wide a shot I can get. All at once. Those key lights are still kind of in the way of where I'm shooting. But uh, they clip onto the table, so I should be able to move them to get uh, get whatever shots I, I need when I have to move the camera to, to get a different angle. But that's looking like it, gang. I think we've got a show. I think I've got the lighting set the way I want it and we are good to go so that's that stage of pre-production out of the way there's a lot of work to to making a uh, a pilot for a for a series I didn't know that before well I kinda did because I, I I took audiovisual uh, production when I was in college in the 80s but uh, certainly didn't have these tools to work with. Man, it's so much easier nowadays with computers to do all your editing and composting and uh, 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 compositing and um, uh, all the other work. <laughs> it's It was a real pain in the old days how we used to do it. And working with three quarter inch uh, uh, videotape. <laughs> Anyways, this is the this is going to be the look, I think. I think we've got it. I think everything is uh looking pretty good. You can see there there's the uh the um watch the doodles, the the little dollar store uh uh LEDs up at the top of the set just to give some dynamics to the lighting and uh, I've got them out of sync with each other so that they uh, change color at different rates so that uh, uh, it gives a little bit more uh, dynamics to the to the background which I kinda like the look of and when you're just zoomed in on the set and you don't see them it just creates a nice little background and the uh, 
the the ring lights that I got there without the diffusers on gives it a little little uh, cold sort of uh, harsh harsh lighting gives it a very artificial feel like you're on a, a grungy beaten up space station these guys aren't on the this pawn shop's not located in the best uh, the best um, space station <laughs> in the universe it's a kind of beaten up uh, grungy space station this show should be fun I'm I'm looking forward to making it just to be silly <laughs> This guy I like. Dr. Veloce Master. I'm not evil, I'm just voiced like I'm evil. This guy is my favorite. <laughs> I, just, I just love the look of that character. He's just uh, it's so hilarious. Yeah, so here we go. Sneak preview of the cast.